we want to be able to gain momentum, we want to be able to hit the ground running, we want to make it our biggest and most successful comeback year, we want to make it a year that we can thrive, well, then we need three important steps. We are going to talk about the three key action steps to start 2021. I think this is important. We want to be able to start 2021 with the bang. We want to be able to gain momentum. We want to be able to hit the ground running. We want to make it our biggest and most successful comeback year. We want to make it a year that we can thrive. Well, then we need three important steps. Okay, so here are the three steps. Step number one is the cleansing and renewal process. Before we begin 2021, before we begin, okay, we first need to cleanse ourselves from negative energies. In case, now not everyone needs this, I'm sure, but some of you might have some bad experience in 2021, right? I mean, some of you might have some challenges, uh, some events that you're un unhappy with. You don't want to be tied down either karmically or energetically or whatever shit burden that you have to bring to 2021. You want to cut and start fresh. And, and, and step number two, all right. Step number two, install new ability or upgrade existing ones. Now, isn't this important? I think uh, after you have removed whatever is holding you back and the blockages and the obstructions, you want to be able to install a new ability or at least ability to acquire a skill set, mindset, heart set. If you don't um, acquire something new, if you don't upgrade your existing abilities, then how are you going to be able to get more, gain more, feel more, be better to other people? How are you going to increase your income? Most people talk about wanting more, but they don't do anything to actually get there. They just hope that magically if they wake up one day, they will have the ability to do it. It's not going to happen. So let's install that energetically first. Would you want to do that? I know this sounds a bit metaphysical and slightly esoteric, but then again, we are talking about metaphysics. It's energy. And the third thing, the third thing we're going to talk about is this. We're going to talk about writing your 2021 story. Okay, this is important. You know, we always talk about what's in store as if your script is written by another director out there. And if that director is pissed off with your animal sign, he's going to write pretty bad shit about you. How about you being your own director? How about you deciding whether you should be the victim, the, the bad guy, the, uh, the hero, or the, you know, the nobleman in the story? Why can't you decide that? Okay, if you have a, the ability to write the story for 2021, what would it be? Now, you can't write the story because probably you haven't done your cleansing yet, so you're tied down with old worries and problems, or you haven't installed a new ability, or maybe you don't know what roles you're going to play in 2021 because you're waiting for the director to tell you the role. What if I tell you you can become the director? What if I tell you you can write the script, the happily ever after that you want? Why don't you write what is happily ever after to you or for you? Perhaps that's the thing. 